Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Hips Kind Body Sheriff. In today's video, I'll be showing you on how to fix your vacuum therapy machine. How to fix your vacuum therapy machine for use. Okay, but before then, I would like you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, and do well to turn on the notification bell so that anytime these amazing videos are being posted, you will be inspired. And again, this is the only way and the best way to support me. Okay, just click on the subscription button, it's totally free. There is no fund, no money attached to it, it's free. Okay, thank you for supporting. Thank you for clicking on the notification bell. Thank you for clicking on the subscription button. Thank you, I love you. Okay, so let's get started. Um, like I said before, I'll be showing you on how to fix your vacuum therapy machine. This vacuum therapy machine doesn't have a name, you can give it a name like this is Hepscan, like this is Hepscan vacuum therapy machine. You can call yours Chisome Vacuum Therapy Machine or Joy Vacuum Therapy Machine. Okay, so this is the vacuum therapy machine. Look at how it looks like. If you've gotten this, this is how it looks like. Okay, so this is the big line. It's for the connection. The big line, look at how it looks like. And it's kind of long. Look at it. It's long a bit how it looks like it's long a bit okay and these are the small lines the two small lines also used for the connection is used to connect with this big guy that is here this long guy that is here so you connect it with this long guy it's called the two small lines and this is the power vacuum accessories here is where you reduce the intensity and increase the intensity okay so this is the power suction this is the power suction look at how it looks like power suction and this is the dc line also used for the connection but all this i'm showing you here is used for the connection okay this is this these are the cups we have about 40 cups or so they are not here i'm showing you the most used ones this for the Birds, you can use this for the breast. This too is mainly used for the butt and the breast. Okay, so let's get started. Firstly, what we have to do is to plug our our suction power. Plug our suction power. It's plugged. Then, sorry, I didn't show you. I didn't show you this. This is our. This is the. This is where you plug the suction power. This is like turning on and this is like turning it off. You plug this power suction line here. So the next thing you have to do is to turn it on. You can see that. Okay. So. Look at how it looks like everything is on okay so this is like the timer if you are working on the breast or you're working on the box you use this as the timer by set this 30 minutes by set it 20 minutes you can still use 35 minutes okay so this is like the time adjustment button this is the time adjustment button here is when you want it higher see this is 31 minutes now this is 32 minutes. Then here is when you want it low. This is 31 minutes. This is 30. And this is 29. Okay. So, but I'll be using 30 minutes. This is 30 minutes. Okay. So this is the power button too. When you want to start your vacuum therapy, this is the power button. Okay. So here is the suction button and here is the release button look at how it looks like so and when you're kind of adjusting this look at where it will show here if you're adjusting this play this button it will reflect 
here so watch out look at how i'm trying to adjust it to this is the suction remember this is the suction i'm adjusting it to 30 okay let's adjust it to four minutes sorry four sec four not four, four seconds okay this is for now and this is the release button the same way is to reflect here it will reflect here when you adjust here it will reflect here okay so our release time is one point let's put it 1.5 1 point one point one point five. Okay, for me, I normally use four point five because sometimes you notice that the client are using this on has trunk body. I remember the result of this vacuum therapy is based on your client's body. Okay, so you use four. I use four for my clients. Sometimes I use five. Sometimes I still use um, two. Depends on the client. Okay, so you have to start from three up okay so the release button okay we've already set that now this is let's connect this this is the remember this is the one big line we have so we're bringing this two here and this is the vacuum this is the vacuum accessory the power vacuum accessory so we are plugging this thing here look at it please pay attention it might be confusing but pay attention to it we are plugging the two small lines to this look at how it looks like Okay, I'm plugging these two small lines to this power vacuum accessories. So we're using this big line. We will plug it here. See where we're fixing it at this empty hole. Remember, here is closed. So don't fix this thing here. Here is closed. Look at here is open. And here is open so to remember how to fix this look at this place is closed we have three open holes here this is open here is open here is open so to remember how to remember this this closed pole must be facing front it must be facing front so you plug this here this is a small lines then plug the other one here this closed one is facing front. Okay, then you plug this big line here. So look at how it looks like. These two lines are for the cup. These two small lines are for the cup. Okay, so this big line, you plug it here. So, you plug this two. The way you plug this one. Remember, I said these two. These two lines are for these cups. It's for the two cups. So, you plug this here. And plug this. So this is our DC line. This is our DC line. So this DC line, look at where we are to plug this. Then these two lines are to be plugged here. So this is ready. So look at how it looks like. Look at how it looks like. 
the two small lines are the thick ones. The one down is the big one line. Then this small one here, this one here, is the DC line. Okay, so. This is ready for use. So, you are ready for it. Okay. Now, what here does, once your client, once you put this on your client's board, once you put this on your client's board, check these numbers here. Like I said before, this is like the intensity, if you have to increase intensity or not. So, we go by one, this is one, this is two, this is three. If it's tight enough, because this is the highest, highest intensity, this is 10. When it gets to this 10, it becomes very tight in soaking and also in releasing. It becomes very, very tight. And one thing is that the higher the, the, higher the number, the intensity, the better it is, okay? So, keep increasing it from four. Ask the client, is it tight? Can you bear it? You get to five. Is this is this the tight? Can you bear it? Because the higher it is, the tighter it is. Okay. So so you put this cup on your client's spot for suction. Okay. And um, this is end of this video. And if this video has been of any benefit to you, give this video a thumb up and also share to your friends. Do also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I'm watching you. Go and subscribe to my channel. This is the best way of you supporting me. It's the best way. There is no money attached to it. There is no fund. It's totally free. Just click on the subscription button, okay? And um, give this video a thumb up. So, see you in my next video. Thank you very much. I love you guys.